welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. Let us look at question 10. Answer this part of the question on a sheet of graph paper. The values of x and y are connected by the equation y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 9x plus 5. Some of the corresponding values of x and y are given in the table below. So we have that table. Calculate the value of q. Loma number 2 using a scale of 2 cm to represent 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to represent 5 units on the y axis from x is greater or equal to negative 4 but less or equal to 4 and y is greater or equal to negative 10 but less or equal to 20. Draw the graph of y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 9x plus 5. Use the graph to find the solutions of the equations a x to the power 3 minus c 9x plus 5 equals to 0 b x to the power 3 minus 9x plus 5 is equal to negative 3x plus 6. Then evaluate the integral of 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 with respect to x over the interval negative 1 to 2. Okay, so those are the questions that we have. So let us start by answering Loma number 1 of m, which is 1 mark. So this one is again a question that always comes. This is one of the simplest questions that you would encourage you to choose. If you are quick and you understand this question, then you should be able to spend less than the half the time I'm going to take or just just slightly right above the half the time I'm going to take because I'm explaining. So to find Q, you just need to substitute negative 2 into this function. So let us go where the space. So we know Y is equal to, we have x cubic minus 9x plus 5. Then here the value of x is negative 2. So in this function we are going to say y which is the same as equal to q equals negative 2. So negative 2 make sure you put it in brackets because negative itself is one which is in bracket. Then you raise it to the power 3 then minus 9 then negative 2 then plus 5. So we have negative 8 plus because negative times negative is a positive plus 18 plus 5. So this gives me this two. If I simplify this two, this two gives me 10 plus 5, which is equal to 15. So Q equals 15. So the value of Q is 15. So once you do that, you're good to go. You get that one mark. Then we go to Loma number 2, which is using a scale of 2 cm to represent one unit. That's on the x axis. Then need 2 cm to represent 5 units on the y axis. We need to draw the graph of this. So let me go to the graph. So as you can see I've already labeled the graph properly so that I don't waste much of your time. What is critical is knowing that this difference is 2 cm. Even here is 2 cm. So you notice that the interval is all labeled, I've labeled x axis and y axis. So once you do this then it's just a matter of transferring the information that we've been given. So let us look at this. So what we have, we have negative 3.5 comma negative 6.4. That's the first one, which is this pair. So let us go to the graph. Negative 3.5 is at the middle here, comma negative 6.4. So if you come here, this is 5. So 6 is in somewhere, so it's supposed to be at the middle, which is the point supposed to be somewhere here. Then we go next. We have negative 3 comma 5. Negative 3 comma 5. So negative 3 comma 5 is here. This is where the 5 is. Then next we have negative 2 comma 15. Remember we just found Q. Q is 15. So at neg negative 2 we had 15 which is at this point. Then next is negative 1 comma 13. Negative 1 comma 13. So 13 is, these are one subunit, so we have 10, 11, 12, 13, so 13 is at 3 here. 
that's what 18 is so you notice that the graph has started coming down then we move next next is 0 0,5 so 0 0,5 0 at 5 so it's at this point 0 0,5 here then after 0 0,5 we are looking at um, 1 comma negative 3 which is this one so we come here 1 comma negative 3 so it's at 1 2 3 so it's this one somewhere here then we go back we have this one 2 comma negative 5 so 2 comma negative 5 is at this point then we go next 2.5 comma negative 1.9 so 2.5 is there, then 1.9 is we have 1, 2, 3, f so halfway is here, then somewhere is somewhere here. Then 3, comma 5. At 3, we had 5 somewhere here. Then we have last 3, 3.5, comma 16.4. 3.5, Sixteen point four. So sixteen point four. This is fifteen. Sixteen point four. Sixteen point is somewhere here, like that. So now it's just a matter of joining these points. You can connect them properly using a pencil. So join these points. Move three. So this is how the graph will look. Look something similar to that. Then this graph is y is equal to x cubic minus 9x plus 5. Like that. So once you do this, you are good to go. You get these three marks. Then use your graph, which is Roman number 3, to find the solution of the equations. This so this one is straightforward you just go and look for the point where this graph closes the the y axis y is equal to zero so it's at this point because we are told that this is of a x to the power three minus nine x plus five equals to zero what this means is y is equal to zero so y is equal to zero is along the x axis so the point where it closes the X axis eh, are the solutions, so we have these three solutions. So you need to come and lead those solutions. So if you draw a smooth curve properly, you are going to discover that x is equal to minus 3.2, which is eh, this point. This point, the first point, then you're going to have eh, x is equal to 0 0.6, which is eh, this point. Then you're going to have the third value will be x equals. Eh, 2.6 so these will be the answers which is the third point at which it closes so it's to be this point so we have this point and this point so those will be the solutions once you do this you're good to go then you get these two marks so we've gotten this and this so we have six marks already so we look at lemma number three of b so we have this function so the first thing that you look at you need to compare the function that we've been given with the original function so you notice that this part, the, f the one which is on the left side, is exactly identical to this one. If it's not identical, you have to make sure that it becomes identical. You can do manipulation by adding or subtracting. You can add an x or you can add a number a constant. So this function is divided into two components, which is this is y2. This is the original y function. So meaning my y2 is equal to minus 3x plus 6. Then you need to graph this line. So at the point where these two, y and y2, they are meeting, you see, where the solutions are. So I'll come this side, say y is equal to minus, minus 3x plus 6. Meaning, I can now find what's the value of y when x is equal to 0. So it will be this times that plus 6, so this is become 6. So I've got one coordinate, which is 0, 6. 0, 6 is the first point. Then the second point is to say, when y is equal to 0, what's the value? What is x? So I'm going to have 0 is equal to minus 3x plus 6. 
So 3x is equal to, then divide by 3, divide by 3, so meaning x is equal to 2. So I'm, look, I'm looking for the coordinates to connect so that I draw this straight line. So this is 2 comma 0. So I have 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 6. Once I have these two points, then I can join these lines to find the, the, the this straight line. So let me go and plot this straight line. So this line is passing through 0 comma 0 comma 6, which is at this point somewhere. Then 2 comma 0 at this point like that. Then I just need to get the ruler, then join these points. So once you have the ruler in place, then you can draw a line that will pass through these two points like that. So you notice that you are going to have the points of intersections. What are those points of intersections? You see this point, this point, and this point. So this is where B comes in. So at BX is equal to if you draw where well, the first value will be, here somewhere here it will be negative 2.4. Then we are going to have x is equal to, at this point, it will be about negative, negative 0 0.1. Then we are going to also have x is equal to, at this point it will be 2.5. So these will be the values of x. So once you do this, you are good to go. Then you would have answered him this question and you get the three marks which will be nine marks so let us answer the last question which is question b so question b is asking us to evaluate so at this point it's just a matter of now integrating and then after integrating then you substitute so this one becomes 3x plus one to the power we had one then we divide by the new power which is in this case a three then minus 2 then x 1 plus 1 so the new power is what is a 2 then plus we are going to have 1 then x to the power 0 plus 1 over the new power which is 1 then simplifying this this and this is a 1 so i'm going to have x to the power 3 then minus x square then plus x then we need to find the actual value by substituting this so now this point is just now the matter of replacing now. We start with a 2. So we're going to have 2 to the power 3 minus 2 square plus 2. Then minus is a different color. We're going to have minus 1 to the power 3. Then minus 1 square. Then minus 1 like that. So we're going to have 8. Then at this point we just simplify this. We're going to have this is 8 then minus 4 then plus 2 then minus then this one will give me negative 1 then again negative 1 then negative 1 like that which is going to give me now 8 minus 4 is a 4 plus 2 6 so we're going to have 6 then this is negative 3 times negative so it will be positive 3 which is going to give me 9 so 9 is the answer so once you do this you're good to go you get the 12 marks so thank you for joining me in this episode Please join me in the next episode as we look at question 11.